Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be five tips on how to always look chic regardless of your budget. Now, before I get started, it's worth mentioning that these tips are relative to my personal style. So of course they're all based on my opinion, but that of course is subjective as is personal style. So they are all open to interpretation. You can tweak them as you will to suit your own personal style. And as you guys know, I do like to splurge here and there on certain things. So there will be some slightly higher price pointed items featured in this video. However, I'm not saying you need those specific items in order to look chic. It's all relative to what fits into your budget. And as always, I encourage you guys to have a look shopping secondhand more because you do get a lot more for your money. Right, now that that's out of the way, let's dive in to point number one. Stick into a classic and minimal colour palette. So we're talking neutrals. So whites, beige, camels, greige, taupe, and pretty much anything else in between. Black, obviously, you guys know that's a favorite of mine. Navy, and then also khaki or khaki, however you would like to pronounce it. That one technically falls under the realm of neutrals, but we'll just breeze past that. Now, the only color that you will ever see me wearing, which I would deem as an actual color, is blue and that will always be in the form of denim. Now there's nothing to say that you can't also mix in some prints into this otherwise very basic and muted color palette. However, I would suggest that you stick to really classic and versatile prints. So we're talking things like stripes, always a good call. Leopard, if you want something a little, you know, and then also checks, especially in things like suiting, blazers, tailoring, all that kind of thing. And I would stay away from prints which are traditionally very seasonal, so Aztec, florals, and then also anything with any kind of slogan on it, so like a slogan t-shirt. As you guys will know, those are things that I am just not particularly big on, but as I referenced at the start of the video, it's all completely open to interpretation. Now, the reason that I stick to this color palette is just because it is so incredibly versatile. It's very much a mix and match scenario. So even if you have a few very basic pieces, you can find that you will have multiple options just with those items. And there are a few color combinations which are just so classic, you can never beat them. So camel and black, Tan and navy is also a really good colour combo. Black and white, beige and black, all of these kind of colour combos just always look effortlessly chic. Tip number two is looking after your clothing and accessories, which I know might seem like a bit of an obvious one. However, what I mean by this is even something simple like how you store your items within your wardrobe. So bags, for example. Bags, no matter what the value, still need to be padded out so that they can keep their shape and so that they don't crease. Leather and even PVC, if for example you're a vegan, creases really easily and it's very difficult to get creases out of bags like that. So it's always a good idea to pad them out. Pad them out with tissue, pad them out with dust bags or whatever you can get your hands on. Just make sure that they're padded out enough to keep their shape. Also make sure that you don't cram things into your wardrobe so much that nothing has any room to breathe. They're only gonna crease and then that just makes getting dressed an absolute faff. Fixing and repairing is also another thing to be aware of. So if you have a seam that's starting to come undone, even something small like a hole in a pocket, it might not be particularly visible to everyone else, but for me personally, if I put my hands into a coat pocket and I feel a hole, I just immediately feel less put together and like I've less cared about that garment of clothing. Missing buttons is also another important one. So if you are missing a button and you don't have the original, perhaps you might wanna take an entire set of buttons off an older garment of clothing, or you could entirely replace all of the buttons with new buttons. And of course, shoes. So heel tips are one of my big things. If a heel tip starts to run up to the point where it's gone through to the metal, please replace your heel tips because you can absolutely ruin your shoes beyond professional repair if you wear them down to the metal. Keeping shoes and bags both protected and clean is another massive thing of mine, which I am borderline obsessed with. So with any nubuck, suede and leather, I will use a protector spray and that's both handbags and shoes. And depending on the amount of wear and also the season, I'll top that up as and when needed. And some of you might have 
already seen this, but I did create an IGTV on how to keep white trainers, both canvas and leather clean. There is one special little product, but I'll leave a link for that IGTV down in the description box below so that you guys can watch that if you feel like you need to freshen up your Vasias or your Converse or whatever white trainers you may have. Now, all of those little mini tips for looking after and taking care of the items that you already have in your wardrobe also mean that it's gonna prolong their life, which essentially saves you money and means that you have to buy less. Tip number three, less is more. This is my favorite tip because I am a little bit of a minimalist. So when I'm putting together an outfit, I try and keep things as basic and minimal as possible. In my personal opinion and for my personal taste, I just find that this is just so much easier on the eye and it's also so much easier to put together a minimal outfit, especially if you have a lot of classic basics within your wardrobe. Now, another little mini tip is also the three color rule and that's to stick to only three colors per outfit. Now, I'm not saying that they have to be exactly the same colors. You could have a neutral, a beige of some form, and they might be different shades of beige, but you could have a beige, a black, and then perhaps a white if you're wearing trainers, or it could just be two colors, black and camel, as I've already said earlier. That's a really good color combination, but I would say a maximum of three colors per outfit is always gonna make for something super chic. Tip number four, is sunglasses. Now, those of you who have been following me for any length of time, to be quite honest, will know of my love and sheer dedication to a pair of sunglasses. It is very rare that you will catch me without sunglasses, and that's come rain or shine. Whatever the weather, I always have a pair of sunglasses either on, or perhaps they're on my head, which I also think looks very cool, or they're even in my handbag, just in case of sunglasses emergencies. I actually don't know what it is about a pair of sunglasses. They just immediately make any outfit look chic, whether it's just adding an air of mystery because you can't see your eyes, I don't know, there's just something, especially a black and very minimal, minimal, that's obviously the key word of this video, very black, basic, minimal pair of sunglasses, absolute wardrobe staple, and you will never catch me without them. Not only that, but they do technically protect the eyes from harmful rays of the outside world from the sun. So anti-wrinkle device right here on your face. My fifth and final tip is tailoring. Now, you guys are probably bored to death of hearing me harp on about tailoring, especially when it comes to blazers. However, it is one of the biggest elements within my wardrobe. Tailoring and basics, that is essentially the makeup of my entire wardrobe. Now, the thing I love about tailoring is even if you were gonna style a really casual, off-duty outfit that perhaps you might have otherwise styled with a pair of jeans, you're wearing some trainers, if you immediately add perhaps a pair of slacks or work trousers, tailored trousers or a blazer or both even, and then keep those trainers on, it immediately makes that outfit both casual but also very chic. Now, just as a little sideline to this point, I know there's gonna be lots of you who perhaps work in an office environment where you do have to wear tailoring and you would class them as your work clothes. And the last thing you wanna do is be wearing your work clothes on your days off. I would advise having specific clothes for work and then perhaps some different tailored pieces that you can wear on those days off that you can style up a little bit differently. Right, there we have it. Those are my five tips for always looking chic regardless of your budget. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.